Hey guys, this is Suha from Array. Today I have another amazing video for you. In my previous video, I have showed you how to color this dress and how to add highlights and shadows to your illustration. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and I'll have the link in the description bar. For today's video, I will be showing you how to create this amazing gold dress. So I paired it with a denim pants because I thought it would be kind of cool. And I also wanted to show you how to create a denim textile in Photoshop. But that will be my next video. So do subscribe to my channel if there's anything you would like me to make a video of. If there's anything in my video that you didn't understand well or if I haven't explained properly, do you comment down below and I will get back to you. Now let's get into today's video. So this dress is made by a brush that I created here in Photoshop. It's a very simple brush and let me first show you how it looks like. Let's just turn off the illustration. And this is actually the brush. Right now it has a different color. That's why it's look different. So you can actually change the color and it will be made with that color particularly. So see? It's a very interesting brush and if you take the color yellow, it will become that gold color that I used. Now let's show you how you can create it. So this is actually what the brush looks like. It's just a bunch of dots and it is, it is very easy to make and I'll show you that. So go to your brush panel and just pick a very hard round brush. Pick the color black. Let's turn it off and show you. Okay, so just make a bunch of dots, smaller and bigger ones, randomly. It doesn't have to be like something specific, just how you want to create a brush. Make sure there are uh, some variations of smaller and bigger ones. And that's it. Just I'm just creating a few more. And that's it. This is your this is going to be your gold brush. All you have to do now is come to your marquee tool. Uh, all you have to do now is select all those and come to edit brush define brush presets and name it name it gold brush trial yes and hit ok and if you now go to your brush brushes which is here and come down the new brush will be at the very bottom of your brush panel there's your gold brush trial and control D to deselect so I'm just going to draw and as you can see it's not nice it has that shadow background to it and that's not what we want i wanted to show you because a lot of us make that mistake while creating a brush you must have a transparent background while you're creating a brush so let's undo that control all z control all z and hide our background layer so it's transparent so i'm just going to delete that quickly delete brush because we have a lot of them Okay, and now again, select all those dots, go to edit, define brush preset, and call this again gold trial. Come to your brush B for brush, and there's your new gold trial brush. Okay, control D, deselect, and see, now you don't see that weird thing in the background still this is not what we are going for we want to create a gold brush and it's remotely not even there so we need to change some of the settings to make it look like that okay so i have deleted all that layer and i'm just going to show you the settings on the brush that i already have because it's there's no perfect rules what should be done to create this gold brush it's just you have to keep on trying to get the best results so to see what 
uh, the settings of this brush we are going to come over here right next to the brushes and it's called the brush panel and click on that and that will open this new window which has a lot of settings this is what's going to make that gold brush you need to change some of the settings to make it look like this okay so first uh, let's come to the brush tip and there's nothing much is changed here it's as it is uh, shaping is to 1% and we are not going to change much here now we are going to come to shape dynamics and click on that the angle jitter is set to 100% and let's come to the scattering scatter is 95% count is 3% count jitter is 3% everything else is off next come to texture this is very important you must have a texture to this brush that's going to make this brush crisp and I have my texture this one sorry this one is the one we are going to use these are the default texture that comes with Photoshop so you don't really have to worry if you have those or not if you have Photoshop you'll have those textures so scale is 100% brightness 0 con uh, contrast 0 just make sure this one is on otherwise this won't work texture each tip okay depth is 100% uh, depth jitter is zero everything else is perfect uh, mode is multiply okay then we have our color dynamics this is another important part foreground background color to 100% and also tick apply per tip that is very important that's why we get this colored uh, texture okay hue jitter is 2% saturation 26% brightness jitter is 7% purity is 0 I did not mess with that and smoothing is on you can actually turn it off and that also gives you another much more better looking crisp brush you know sorry okay so I did turn off this uh, smoothing and after you did all those to your brushes don't forget to save it and here is the saving panel click on it give it a name if you want to and then save okay I already have mine saved so I'm not gonna do that right, right now just so there that is your brush so these these settings they are actually I tried different settings and came up with this so there is no perfect rules how you can create it it's totally up to you you have to just play with the settings and see where it goes okay so that's how I usually work okay so I'm just going to delete that uh, and close that and we are also going to hide that and we're going to turn our main layer on okay and I will apply the brush and show you so one other thing that I forgot to mention is that you must have uh, the foreground color the color that you want your glitters to be and the background color set to white all the time okay that is how you are going to get the best results so let me give you a demonstration of a different color let's make a black type of glittery Thing. so I, I do have a lots of lots of layers here and if you want to see um, how I created those do watch my previous video where I talked about layers and how they work why it's important to work in different layers so do watch my previous videos to understand them better and I know it looks a lot messier don't look at those <laughs> So right now I want to do like I want to do the color with this new brush that I created and in my previous video I showed you how you can use the clipping uh, clipping tool to draw in a particular area in this video I will show you uh, a different technique so let's say I just, I just made a copy of that color because I just like to work on copies rather than just work on the original one okay that's a good way to work if I don't like it I'll just delete that and I'll still have the original one so I'm just working on the copy so what I said just I want to create like the color with this brush 
and right now I'm on that layer but it's drawing everywhere and that's not what we want right we want it to be just colored where the color is so undo that control all Z control all Z okay that's undo everything uh, do remember that I have I have black color on that layer I have my color colored with black on that layer on the layer that I'm working so the thing I'm going to show you is pixel lock this lock uh, this pixel lock is very interesting uh, suppose you have this color right now and you lock it so sorry locked it so what it does it locks all the transparent pixels right now we have our color over here in this color area and the rest of the image is rest of the layer actually not image the rest of the layer is transparent see this layer it's transparent except those black color areas so what this lock does it locks those transparent areas you cannot color on those anymore so if we use the brush right now you'll see you're just coloring on the area that was black it has locked all other transparent areas this is a great way to work when you want to just work within your outlines and you don't want to go outside your outline you want a finished outline and that's how you use the pixel lock if you change the color of the brush it will give a different results every time and just love to play with it it's just so fun yeah, you can even create shading so this is very very important interesting and cool I think hey that's silver so ash and white create silver type of sequence great so uh, this is it for today if you like this video if you learned something don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you want to know something about this video if you have any questions don't forget to comment down below do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time in my next video where you can learn how to create this denim pants, denim texture using Photoshop. Till then, take care and I'll see you in my next video.